I don't necessarily think there's a trend towards more Achilles injuries. I think the media is just more prevalent, and we see these high-profile athletes, where, and it's right, and we see it all the time in the media, and that it's more prevalent, and that we can see how often it occurs. I don't necessarily think there's a higher prevalence going on between now and the recent um, past as well. This is usually an injury that's not seen in high school athletes. We do see some in college, but it's more as we get older, we see more Achilles ruptures. Um, but in the high school our population, it's very rare, and then, but you do see some in, in college. That's a theory that increased bulk and size and explosiveness of the athletes can cause more power across the tendons and ligaments, and making you more likely to injure them. We haven't quite seen that, but we do believe that that's one of the theories and that can make us more likely to tear these is because the, the players are stronger, faster, and, the muscles, and their muscles are stronger, causing a more force to go across their Achilles tendon and their ACLs and the ligaments and uh, tendons like these. Everyone is at risk for Achilles rupture. The older we get, the more likely it can occur. Our tendons become cross-linked and become more brittle as we get older, and we're more likely to see a rupture. A, a person playing basketball or all of a sudden making cuts or uh, sprinting, all of a sudden will feel almost like they were kicked in the back of the heel, and that can show that they've ruptured their Achilles. Uh, we do see it as we get older, uh, more so than when we were younger, and then we're less flexible as well. That can uh, make us a little bit more prone to rupturing these as well. There's not necessarily any strengthening exercise that can help prevent an Achilles rupture. More so, it's stretching your Achilles. This allows for our tendons to be healthier because it helps to prevent cross-linking of the tendons, which is what makes the tendons more brittle. So if we continue stretching, being more flexible, it can make us less likely to rupture our Achilles. The other thing that can help is not just being a weekend athlete, but making sure you're well-trained overall so you just don't go there on the weekends. You're more likely to have some type of tendon or ligament injury if all of a sudden you go out there on just a weekend without warming up and, and just performing these activities. The harder part about after Achilles rupture and repair is actually the recovery. The rehabilitation is what takes the longest. It's still about, about a year recovery. It's six months before you're getting back to all your activities, uh, even though we've had um, advances in, in the way we do the surgery and in our rehabilitation afterwards as well.